So on this question, we need to simplify the square root. Now, if we could divide these by anything, we would, but we can't, so we don't. Does that make sense? Notice, this is divisible by two, but this is not. And th this is divisible by three, but this is also not. So that we can't reduce it. So then what do we do? We just break it down. So I just take the 30, let me just do the 30 seconds. It's three times 10, and that's two times five. So the top, so I'm just gonna do the square root like this. And the top is just um, two, three, and five. I'll just two, three, and five. And the bottom, 121, that's, that's 11 times 11. So I just break them down like that. And then I see that on the bottom, I have two 11, so I can send out an, a plain 11. But on the top, nothing can come out. So they just go back together and make square root of 30, and that's our answer. Did that make sense? Well, you might wonder, why is there no square root in the bottom? Because I square rooted the 121 on the bottom, so the root is gone on the bottom. He did his job on the bottom, right? You can square root the 121 because it's two 11s, and remember, square roots are two for one deals. So two 11s inside sends one 11 outside, outside, out of the root. But on the top, there was not two of anything. There was just one, two, one, three, one, five. So you can't do the square root on the top. You just multiply two times three times five, which is 30, and you leave it in the square root. So basically, long story short, you can't square root 30. You can't break it down at all, because when you break it down, you see that there's not two of anything. So it just stays, stays square root of 30. On the bottom, you can square root the 121. It's just 11. And so the root is gone from the bottom because you were able to do the square root. Now, let me do a similar one. Here's another one. This one, I'm not gonna start breaking this down and go three times seven, blah, blah, blah. But first notice you can divide and you gotta do that first. They're both divisible by three. So do that first. So when you divide them both by three, what you get is, seven over 121, like that. And then, now you can't square root the seven, so that just stays there, but you can square root the 121, use your calculator if you're not familiar, it's just 11 and we're done. Does that make sense what happened there? I just divided top and bottom by three and it became seven over 121. Now that square root is over both of them, right? So you're gonna try to square root both of them, but you can't square root the seven, so the root just stays up there on the seven, because he couldn't do his job, but you could square root the 121, that's just 11, no more root. He did his job on the bottom. And so there we go.